So really enjoy that stretch. If you're not part, the fun part, really, I'm kind of, kind of challenge your balance here by how far can you push us forward, and then how far you can move forward and get a nice kind of stretch on the back of your legs. So this, this is what we're calling the basic, the basic move here. And so with the foot here, come up, and I want to hold one leg up, hold, hold, and we'll go back for a few more stretches here, and then come up to a hold. I'm going to bring the knee up here, the knee up and hold, and then come back down. Do a nice stretch. Now we're going to just start step a little step, step in front and front of yourself, front foot, kind of a tap across. This is kind of the basic move. We're going to try to take it, take it a little bit more complicated from here, add, add more things to it. Right now, just let, as you're stepping on your feet, relax the shoulders. Kind of let the upper body roll, sway a little bit, and kind of feel, kind of participate with the, the relaxation of the upper body, even though there's all this stuff going down, down below. And let yourself smile. So now I'm going to start. So I'm stepping across. And then reaching with the opposite hand for a little bit of a toward the touch. And I'm getting a little bit lower each time. I'm probably maybe stepping a little bit more. It's, this is kind of like a curtsy squat. So when we meet the queen, we'll know exactly what to do. So I'm bending here again. I'm getting a lot of good bend in the hips. And I'm, and I'm just, I'm actually letting myself down with my legs, not necessarily bending over at the waist. So I'm letting, I'm letting the legs do all the work, letting my, letting my weight down. Keep going, just nice and smooth. You take a break, kind of lose your balance, a break. Now I'm going to come across and kind of hold that position. What I'm going to do here is take the other arm and just lift it up, lift it up kind of high as I'm comfortable, and then bring it down, and I'm going to, which way, which way, which way. And I step across again, and then as that arm comes down, the other arm Comes up, stretches up, so if I can try to so I step, step across, do the side one, hand goes down, and then same thing as before, again, hand down, other arm comes up, and I kind of, kind of, you can kind of put my other, my, my down hand, I'm going to like the balance, and I'm twisting, I'm twisting from the hips, putting at the torso. This is balance. So a, a wider, a narrow step here, which is a kind of a wider step. A wider step would be a lot more balanced. A narrow step will be a lot harder. Again, you can do them in parts. You step across, then come down, and then turn, or you can do it all in one. Your choice. Okay, coming up, just moving the, moving the knees, feet together. I'm moving the knees in any which way I can. So really loose knees, but they're moving together. So I'm, I'm bent down here, so I've got to kind of bent down. Again, if I just wiggle back and forth, that's fine too. But I, even, Around. And now we're going to step. We're going to step out to the side here, as far as you can. We've done this before. I want you to kind of bump it a little bit further and come back up. 
So as I step out to it at a 45 degree angle, and then I'm gonna bump it. Get good position here. Step out to 45, bump. And this should bring your back leg, and I want the back leg straight this time, not this is not a lunge. And the, the, the part I'm kind of interested in here is after you bump out a little bit, that push to get you up. So step out, 45, bump it. Now I've got a lot of weight in front, a little in back, straight leg, and I have to power off my front leg. I can imaginary push off the wall. I'm going out, 45. Bump. Get a little couple inches further. You see that couple inches, you'll find that then that push up, that can that push, push yourself back a little harder. But you have to then keep with that motion at your pace. You really want the nice. Powerful push. So again, I'm stepping to 45, bumping it out. My back leg is really weight's most in the front. Just kind of back this just kind of there. And I want to power myself back to the back leg. And if you want a trick, one of the tricks here, if you want a little help, is if I if I kind of row forward, if I kind of come forward here, it's sometimes easier to come back up. So I row, roll my weight down. And kind of compress my weight and then you know, springs back up. Well, that's one of those tricks I talk about. If I roll forward and come up, it's got to be a better word than that. That's not quite the word, but I'll figure out. Yeah. But I kind of lean in more weight and push out. Same thing going backwards in the 45s now. So I'm going to step back 45 and then bump it out. So now I'm on, I'm on my I'm on my toe here, here, and I have to push myself off my toe up. So you, this one's not quite the same because you're not going to you still have a weight in your front foot in this case. But I step back 45, I bump it out a little further, I'm in that toe, and to, again to get myself push up, I gotta I kind of roll back a little bit. And then come forward. Good, you step 45. For those you want to make it a little bit harder now, you make it less of a 45. You get more toward a straight back. So instead of going 45 out, I'll go maybe 20, 20 degrees out. And again, the same thing. I bump it back so it's a little bit deeper. And then I push myself up to standing. Step back 45. Bump it out. Balance, balance self first. And again, this is a good place if you need balance, go to stay. So then I roll myself forward. I kind of throw my weight back and then throw myself forward. So stepping back 45, bumping it back, and stepping back, and then I'm kind of Shifting my weight back to come, to come to push myself forward. Let's see what I'm the back. Shift. Okay, right now, walking here, and you're kind of walking in, and you're going to kind of turn your ankles here. So I'm lifting my knee up and kind of walk. I'm again meandering, wandering here. We're thinking about my balance, but I'm also lifting that foot up and turning that heel around. Don't forget to go both ways. Don't just go one way. You need to put the foot down, not a problem. Okay, now we're going to kind of just come to the ground here, walk out a few steps, and come back. So you're basically coming hands to the ground. Again, if you need to be up a little higher, put the stool in front of you. So you're down in the front of the stool. But I'm looking to come down in a nice squat here. Walk yourself out on your hands a little bit, not too much weight on the hands. And walk your hands.
hands back to where you stand up. So those of you who have really loose hips, this is really, really easy because you're already really close to the ground. Those with tight hips, it's a lot harder. I'm getting as close to the ground as I can, so I'm, before I start calling out, then I call out. So again, the trick here is get yourself as close to the ground as possible before you start putting your hands down. And so get my back as flat as possible. A little weight. Again, notice the transfer. I'll try to magnify it here. I'm down. I try. One hand, one hand, one hand. I go back and forth. So I had only I can have the weight on one hand at a time. So I'm lumbering forward and lumbering back. So now you're gonna walk it, you come down, you're gonna walk it all out straight. And you're in plank. And come back to your knees and child's pose. And then right now, I'm just looking for a nice child's pose. Come down to your desk. And before we do our, our plank sprints, I'm gonna go over some, a few ways to make this a little bit more difficult. So we'll just practice, we'll practice a few difficult ones. So the first, first plank, where you may want to try this in your, in your, in your sprints, is I'm going to come up to plank, and I'm going to, what they call sawing back and forth. I'm coming, taking my weight in front of my hands, behind my hand. So I'm kind of, notice my ankles behind me, I push out an ankle, and it's pulling back. Just try this for a few. And then come back to child's pose. That's one way to make it to challenge yourself on planks. The next way here, put your hands together, call a diamond plank. Okay, so bring your hands together, right in the middle, right in the middle, kind of I'm holding right under my chest. You notice this is also a little different. Okay, really, if you have a balance issue, put your feet a little wider. Okay, that's enough for that one. Next, next hard one here, next one here, again, these are just options for when you're doing your plank sprints. Wide arms. So here I have, my arms are outside my shoulders and they're even in front, close to my hip, up above my head. So this is, you know, for how wide you want to go, it just depends on how wide you can hold. The further wide here, you notice, the further wide I hold it, the more I'm shaking. Okay, back. And again, you, you, you want to use your core here. The last, the last one I want to kind of go over, because I think this is almost the most important plank, the hard plank. And again, by the way, if you need to come up a little higher level for plank, you can do it in the stool here. I want you to tighten the muscles in the front and back of your core. So as you, when you come up to plank, tight, really kind of tight everything down around that middle, middle section. So let's go for a quick plank. Go ahead, go quick. A quick plank here. So you're tight in the middle, you feel that you know, your, your breath gets you get hit. And done, and you're done. So again, that's a really good one to use. So that and that we have about 15 seconds here. We're gonna start with our plank sprints. Dennis, can I see your fingers? You keep don't move them. That's six, I think. Six. Okay, first one, first plank. Ready? Go. This is your warm-up plank. So we're in our we're in our plank sprints. 15 seconds on, and it'll be 10 seconds off. First one, you're just kind of feeling it out. You're kind of getting your shoulders down, your breath, and relax. 10 seconds rest. So your breathing is starting to pick up here. Breathing out, force the breath out. Get a good breath in. Try to control down. And hop, number two, we're up. Now we're starting to make them hard. We're trying to find ways to make them difficult. We're trying to make ways to use as many muscles, different muscles around the core as we can. And whatever is hard for you. And boom, we're two done. So again, this is, a, this is about you making it hard for you. Like I said, I can't see you. I don't know what's going on. And number three, boom. 
breathe, breathe hard, really force the breathing out, even though you're kind of the labored breathing, even though it's too strained breathing, force it out. Check in, roll your muscles. And ho! Number four coming up. And ho! 15 seconds. You can do it for 15. I want you to be working these. This is that part between the upper and lower that makes everything work together. And ho! Two more, two more. Breathe, breathe, relax, relax. Okay, now, up, oh, now back in plank. Now you're struggling, now you're making it hard, you're moving, you're shifting your, side, your feet, or your arms. And down. Last one coming up, last one coming up. Relax, relax, relax. Shake it, shake it. Big breath in and huh. You should not be holding your breath. Last one here, we're on the last one. You should not be holding your breath. Do not be holding your breath. Really work at breathing, even though you're in a, in a tight position. And ho, oh, back to child's pose. Back down to child's pose. Relax, release, breathe. And by the way, smiling is a good thing to do here because you're done with the plank sprints. Good timing. You can smile at this point in time. So we're on the ground here. We're on all fours. And so now we're fire hydrants here. Alternates, alternate sides. Right and left. So again, you can feel that I've got a weight shift happening. And so I'm even looking to right to left. Fire hydrants, nice and high with the knees, really lifting up. And again, to get this to work, you have to turn, you have to do it, you have to turn the hips a little bit. It's not just the legs, it's, I can get, get more like adding and like turning the hips. I twist my hips with it. Just straight out the side, straight out, 90 degrees out. And again, if you want to be a little easier, take your stool, you come and come up on the stool. It's whatever is challenging for you and you, that keeps you moving, that's what we're after. Quick rest here. So you come, you come up, just move, move the hips around here. Just move the hips. Everything else kind of just kind of moves as the hips move. So I'm kind of circling the hips, left and right. We use, we use them a lot. We use them some more. Next, I have a, basically, I kick straight back, kick straight back. And I'm looking for a nice, solid leg here. Your head should not move at all here. So you really kind of, lift your arms here, your shoulders is just rock solid. Not moving, but everything behind you is moving. So try to limit that swaying motion, that movement motion. And again, it may have to bend your elbows a little bit. So kind of mule kicks here. I'm not looking for I'm not looking for a strong power kick. I'm looking just for a nice extension while keeping the upper body not moving. And sometimes if I kind of push up, pull the ground here, kind of pull my hands toward one another, I create, I create a little dynamic here. It makes it harder for the body to move, for the shoulders to move. But I have plenty of nice motion behind me. Okay. Just sit, sit back on your haunches here, on your heel, on your, on your knees if you can. And we're just gonna rise up here. We're kind of sitting down, I'm rising up. So again, if you wanna just sit, do a chair, sit up from a chair, the same, stand up from a chair, the same thing. When I've got my knees on the ground, I'm coming forward. Inside, you won't stay here long because if you're on the floor, it sucks on the knees. Okay, 
I'm really kind of focused on the hips. We're going to do all the motion here, all the tension. Now keep doing this or start bringing your, your leg up, your knee up, the other leg. So as I rise up, I'm bringing the leg with it. And again, if you want to go out a little more to the side, that's a, that's a little easier. Coming more straight forward, a little harder. And coming forward, not touching the ground at all, it's even harder. All right, boy. So I come down, I can have so I propel myself up, push up, and 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 coming up. So come all the way up. We got a we got a 90 second break. Take it. Water. Any complaints, send them to Dennis. He'll 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 he'll, he'll, he'll categorize them and catalog them for us. Right now, meander, walk, which she will be here. More seconds, just keep walking around. Water. Right there. Teach a class? No, Not now. Okay. About 30 minutes. We'll come out and get them Okay. Okay. Grabbing your meat, your light weights here. So we've done this, we've kind of done, we've done this, David's done this with break glass before. Stepping across, bringing the weight across, nice and slow. Again, make sure you've got your good, a nice good base here. When you bring the weight across, it does, it should not change your balance. And I want you to build up to having it at the same time, doing the movement at the same time, stepping and tripping, putting the weight across at the same time. We're starting with step weight across, step weight across, but we're building up to a same time. But again, that same time should not affect your balance. That's what we're really trying to work on here. That bringing the weight across, but I'm not losing my balance. And if you can, start to pick up the pace. The weights are swinging, and swinging a little bit more, but you're not losing your balance. I've got a little hot step going. Again, if this is too much, stay at the, stay at the other level when you were challenged. Now, notice what happens when it's a single motion. It's a jump. You can see at the level that makes sense. Okay, walk. Let the weights hang, let your arms hang, let your shoulders hang. So right now, we're gonna do just you can go to the heavier weights if you want. I have a press up here, shoulder down. One way, well, swing one way at the shoulder, squat, press up, shoulder down. So one shoulder time, one way at a time. So I, I, again, if you want to use your hips to throw the weight up, you can carry your weight. But I really want that squat thrust and down. Swing up the shoulder, squat thrust and down. You should have a nice wide stance, hip width here. This is the basic move. This is what you what you work on here. Nice clean moves. You 
you're trying to you're trying to make sure the weight's not in front of you or or, or off the side. Straight up to the shoulder, straight to the ceiling. Again, if you only get halfway, but you know, that's that's it starts to go away from you, just get it to that point. Now that now I'm going to add a little bit of a kind of difficulty to this one, so I want you to squat while you're bringing the weight to your shoulder, and then as you as you unsquat, you, the weight goes ahead. So it becomes kind of a two-part move. So I'm lifting the weight to the shoulders. So I'm, when I'm down here, I in my squat, my, shoulder, my weight to my shoulders. As I stand up, weight goes up. So it becomes a single, more of a single move than a two-part move. So again, you're going two directions at the same time. That's when you're going down, weight's going up. And then they both go up. Take a quick breath here. It's a little side to side shuffle. We're going to do the same thing again, but with both arms this time. And again, if you have heavier weights, go ahead and grab them. Ten pounders for me. There's plenty on this exercise, so you don't need a, you don't need a heck of a lot. So we're starting up here. So again, the simple move here is swing with shoulders, squat up and down. The base the base move here again is again you can just swing for a little bit, swing with shoulders, squat up and down. So again, I can I like that swing move here. Swing the shoulders, make it set. Up and down. Now what I want here is, a, now I'm gonna make this more of a single move here, so I, I'm squatting and bringing in the shoulders and then raising overhead. Again, so if, that, if that's too much, stay at that, stay at the first move. You got two things happening at once. How can you keep track of it all? Nah, don't bother. Just do it. This is why you don't want really heavy weights here because we're going for a while here. Okay, wait to the side for a second. Kind of just shake the shoulders out a little bit, move them around, kind of cross in front. So I'm crossing front one way, and I'm crossing front the other one. And then this one is a this one is a ballistic move. If you can pat, pat yourself on the back, and go ahead and do it. And this is relax. This is relaxing. I'm not pushing this. I'm not. I'm not tensing. That's key here. You don't want to tense in this move. You want everything relax at the same time. Let's go back to the lightweight or something in your hand here. And we're going to start with a little bit of a, more of a sumo squat, sumo stance here, wide, wider stance, kind of like the horse stance. And I'm going to sit down a little bit. I'm going to sit down in that stance. So let, oh, let's, yeah, let, let's just walk in the stance. We've been on the horse all day. Things are a little raw on the side. You don't want, you don't want the trousers to touch. So, now, make sure you're walking back, too. So I'm in a low crouch. Again, this is a weight transfer. So if I really kind of exaggerate, I'm pushing myself. So really, I'm... Okay. 
Okay, so we're, we're in that horse stance. We've been riding that horse all day. Our legs just won't do anything else. We won't get any, any, any narrower here. So now I take my one weight here, I'm going to reach across the knee, and then as I reach up to the side here, I'm going to put my same hand here on the other leg here and point straight up in the sky. Again, I don't care where this one is. I just want, I want kind of like a nice flat front and then bring it down. Switch hands. I got to put my hand, put my right hand on my right knee and raise with the weight in my left hand. I'm going to raise up. I'm going I'm I'm to stay in that horse stance here. And then down. So this is, again, this is a weight transfer, but we're in a horse stance. So I bring my, left, my, heart, my hand down here, my left hand to my left knee, raise the weight with my right hand. That's easy for me. When I go left knee and left hand, not so easy for me. Oh, that back is tight. Nice and slow. Make sure you have support before you, you twist. But I'm staying in that low, that low stance. Again, if you need to be, if you need to go higher, that's fine. But I'm in that low horse stance. We're gonna, we're gonna add to it here, but let's take a let's give our leg a little break here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add to that one, do the same thing again, but when you Raise the weight up, I want you to lower the butt down. Just about half an inch or an inch. So I'll demonstrate it. So here's my normal position. Here, I'm up, then I want to go down another inch, up, and then switch. I don't know if that's visible, because I didn't go down far inside here. So I up, side, now I'm up, now I sit down, and up. So again, I'm probably about that far. Two inches at, the, at most, and that's exaggerating. So, raise it up, down, up, switch. In the horse stance, raise up. If anyone's legs aren't burning, I suspect them have big, as they do know how to ride a horse. Horse people, for horse people, this is easy. The rest of us. Okay. Shorten that one up here. Walk it off here. So what we're gonna try to do here, again, you may want you, you may, this is maybe a good place for a stick, but I'm standing here. I'm gonna grab my ankle, my leg, and just give a nice tuck here. So here, and my stick. And you, do, you can do it without the stick, or you pull the stick. I'm trying to move my knee back, get a straight front. And for me, often, some of you guys might be able to do the same hand, same leg. I'm a little too tight for that. Stretch a little bit of balance. Coming down to the ground. No, so I'm on my I'm on my hands. If you have if you have your pad, you might, you might sit on the pad here. Might feel a little more comfortable. Not a bad idea. So I'm coming up here. I'm. Tapping across my leg. So, I, let me just say, I'm, I'm starting with my feet down. And again, I start, let's just start with the basic one here is I have a twist here through my hips. You have my hips as a twist across here, hold the leg across, tap the other side, and down. For those who want to get up a notch, keep the legs don't touch the floor. So, I mean, your, your other leg doesn't get forced and you don't get a rest in between. And I'm trying to make this rhythmic, not fast. And 
rolling my, what the trick here is roll my hips to side to side. I'm rolling my hips. The legs will follow the hips. So if I roll my hips to the side, ah, the legs are just, oh, they're there. They're already where I need them. So the trick here is turning my hips. So I actually probably even, I'm probably pushing out the hands. Help. So I push up my right hand, holds. Okay, sitting up. Feet together. And we're going to lean back and come forward. And so, again, so I'd like you to even start off with me back here. Back as far as you can. Come forward. This is a sit up in a butterfly position. I lean back. Not a too far. And I fell over. That's kind of, that's why I want to, I want, I want to get, I want to stop myself. Right here, or even a little before that. So I basically I'm leaning back as far as I can control using that core and I pull myself back up. And at some point in time, there's a point where I lose control. Oh, I roll back over. That's what we're finding. Where's the edge? Work the edge. Find that place just before. And then, so I, I want you, I want you failing about every fourth one. Every fourth one, you're falling back over because you went too far. You're pushing the edge. You're pushing your edge. So my feet are together. Lean back, and there's my edge right there, and I really have to come back up. Of course, myself come back up. And if I can just go a little bit too far, then I roll back. I roll back, and have to bring myself forward again. Your butterfly sit up, and you're you're trying to fail every fourth one, and that should feel good. You say, hey, I'm pushing, I'm pushing the envelope, I'm pushing my envelope. Again, if you need to move your feet away from yourself to kind of cut balance, lean back, coming forward, lean back, coming forward. I'm going to experiment with can I kind of use my arm, my catch myself, my arm, my hands catch myself on my knees or my thighs. Doesn't seem to help very much. Coming up. Okay, it's so your stool. And we're on the ground on our butt with our feet on the stool. And again, this is a good, if you want to use your pad, you want this on your back. Pad on your back. So I have the stool kind of near my butt, my back on the pad or on the floor, and I'm raising. My butt off the floor. I'm really trying to get both feet on the stool, pushing straight down the stool. I don't want the stool to slide away. I want, to, I want to push straight down the stool. And this then that's easier said than done. So with my butt on the floor, I push my butt up, I push down into the stool. And I gotta keep that down force and even pulling in a little bit for my butt to keep my hips together. Now come down. So, up and down now, nice smooth moves. Try not to let the stool run away from you. So you kind of have to pull that stool in toward your butt. And you're trying to get as high in the air as you can before coming back down to get a rest. And you decide how long the rest you need before coming back up again. I'm trying to make feet. Bottom of the stool, ouch. I wasn't gonna do one layers here. I think I'm pretty, I find this is hard enough. And those of you want a little bit extra here, when you come to the top, before you come down, Push up just that little upper edge and come back down. And let's push the stool away here and stretch the legs out in front of you and get a little get a little forward fold stretch here. So some of you will be touch your toes. 
No, we just can't quite. Should we just flat back, reach into it? We're at our second break. We've got 70 seconds. Make it count. Move around. Again, don't stop, don't sit down. This is not a good time to sit down. Move around. Water. Thirty seconds. We'll, we'll start with a pad on the ground here. We'll be on our side. So What I'm looking for here is going to be hip up, hip ups. We'll just lay up here, too, so we'll So I'm going to start with my elbow on the, on, on the, on the pad, and I'm going to start with wide feet here, and I'm going to press on my legs here, lifting my hips up. Again, if I need the other hand, that's fine. And then down. And I, I like to slow down here. So high as you go, and then down. For those who are a little bit harder, bring your feet together, it's what they call stack them. Okay, switch sides. Okay, just kind of warm up. This one is wide feet here. And up and down. Up, I can get them. When you feel warmed up, or if you want more of a challenge, you bring feet together and you stack the feet. This is too hard. Your shoulders. Do something else. Back to the first side. And here we do leg ups. So I'm, I'm going to start with my hip, hip point straight up here. I lift the top leg up, bottom leg up to come up to meet it, and I kind of go V, V shape here, and I slowly lower them down. So top leg up, straight leg, heels, heels kind of pushed out, bring the bottom leg up to meet, and then slowly down. I'd rather have kind of a crisp movement than being fast. Whatever that means to you. Purposely don't define the terms. Only if you, you define the terms. Top leg up, bottom come to meet, and down slowly. I know Dennis likes this one. Okay, let's check the flip sides. I'm turning around so you don't have to you don't have to turn the same way I am, but I'm trying to do the best camera angle as I can. Top leg up, bottom leg to meet, and I come down. And again, to bring the bottom leg up, I kind of some I do a little V position here, it's a little bit of jack but not much.
If you turn your hips a little more, it's easier than the legs a little higher up. Again, smile. Relax. You get the smile, you have to learn to you have to remember to learn to relax, to get the smile. And sometimes it helps to, to enjoy the movement. Other times you have to kind of, oh yeah, I am having fun. And relax the shoulders, relax the mouth, relax the jaw. Back to the first side. Flip over again. So, what we do here is I'm like, oh, I'm like, the same thing we did the last time. I'm going to come up on my elbow, and then I'm going to change it to come up on my arm. And then elbow, lifting my hips up. And so, again, you have a, you have a little time switch. And you take whatever time you need to get repositioned. And so as I come up on my up, off my elbow what we did last time. Again, so maybe I come up on my you need to come on both hands here. But I'm going from elbow to hands. One one or two. So here what I'm looking for is a switch. How do you change positions? How do you change your center of gravity, where you're working from? So I don't want to do too much of that. The flip sides. Again, so I start with my start with the first time. I just push up my elbow, and then I have to turn my body. Most likely, so you get one or two hands down, get the hips up. So let, we'll make that the base. We'll make that the base move here. So I have to turn my torso to get both hands down, so I can get the hips up. Side up, normal. Twist to a side up. It's a kind of Half plank, half side up. Coming up, pushing the mat, pushing the push off the side. Saunter, stroll. I've used the word meander already. I think I have a list of about 90 words that mean walk. Can't think, I can only think about 10 of them. Right now, shake your shoulders here. I will, we did a little extra work on the shoulders here, through or through the shoulders. And make sure the shoulders kind of work. Hold the stack of the behind you as you're, as you're sauntering. And then push and pull them and stretch them out. So right now I want a, a kind of a skating move here. So now I have a step across. I have a step across, probably a little bit out the side. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in my Eric Hayden skating stance. So, and part of that stance here is that is that other leg comes across and then back out and it swings out. It swings out. But I'm in a bent stance here. Now I want you to go backwards, same thing. So my back, I'm coming back 45. I'm turning, turning again. You turn with the hips, it's a lot easier. You try to turn the legs, turn with the hips, and then a step back. Turn, step back, the hips. And we, again, as, mu as much as it's difficult, I want you to kind of get down in that low crouch. So you at least wind resistance because you're in a low position. You watch those speed skaters, they're low. Bring your stool, bring your stool out here. So I have the stool out in front of me, and I'm going to step up, and then so 
I'm gonna kick my leg around a little bit. I'm gonna step up, kick my leg in front back, and, and go back. This is a balance exercise. Step up. Again, that step up has to be clean. You can't come up and be unbalanced. And again, I've talked about, talked about this before. I shift my weight so it's all over the step or all over the, where I'm stepping to. Come straight up. That way there's no extra momentum that I have to contend with. Move the leg around, come back down. Weight forward. Weight is all over the top of the stool. I just have to go straight up here. And again, if I need to touch my other leg here, balance, no problem. Maybe we've done this swinging leg before, but we've got it on a stool. Okay, if, you're, if you're in a higher stool, higher one, take a little bit more time. Make sure you can transfer that weight and go up. Some of your weights here. You want to go a little heavier? This is what you need to do it. I'm just going to put it on my stool here. Put it on the stool in front of me. I'm going to stand kind of hip width stay here. I'm going to bend. I'm going to sit. I bend my hips here. I'm going to kind of, I'm trying to move back to our position. Pick up my weights. Bring it from my armpits and then put it back down and stand up. So I'm looking for it. Nice wide, a little greater than hip width. I sit down, my, and my hands are just right there for the weight. Bring them to armpits, down, stand up. So keep that, 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 that pattern here. I'll add to it here in a little bit. The most important here is I don't have a rounded back. I really am pulling those scapulas together, all the way down, they stay together, and the only time I release them is when I'm standing up. So I bend down. I'm at that. I've done this all day today. Of this this horse stance squat position. I'm low. That butt. My butt is pushed back. Really, my feet. I'm steady. I'm steady. And when I lift the weights up, there's no movement in my legs because my legs are solid on the ground. There's no. Watch that, Don, that, 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 that back, the back is a little crowded here. Yeah, I'll try to see if you can bring that head up a little bit, that little chin up a little bit, with the flatter back. So, pull the scapulas together, lift the chin up a little bit. That's done, that's perfect, that's it, that's it, exactly it. So now you're gonna pull up the chest, hold out, and then you do, what you're doing right here is you call, and a back thrust. And the hands behind you. And bring up to the, the, your armpits again, and then let it back on the chair. Move this to the side. We're adding to this here. Pull them up. Out. Together. Down. And heavier weights will make this harder. And I'm standing up. Getting my rest. Come back down. Pull in. Arms out. Together and down. The whole time, I'm trying to hold those scapulas together best I can. Keep going. Okay, come up, walk it for a second. Take one of the weights, the wide stance. And I put that weight outside, outside my foot. Reach in and move it. 
And then what I'm gonna try to do here is bump, you've done that before, we bump that leg just put out just another half inch. So again, I reach down across, bring that weight up, put it down outside the other foot. Then I'm gonna bump my other foot out again. So again, now that bumping here is, 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 I, is I transfer weight and let that foot just go out just a hair bit more. Reach across, switch weight over, stand up, bump out the leg it just came from. So I don't know if you see it, but yeah, I'm going out. As soon as you get to the limit, start all over. Just, just finding the edges here, bump it a little bit further. And what you have to start to do more and more here is you have to travel your weight across your body here. So more and more, I have to bring my weight over one side, bring it back over the other, and then bump it again. So I've got a lot more, a lot more traveling weight. My center of gravity is shifting a heck of a lot more. Set in between, bumping. And I'm probably at my limit right here. So I'll start all over again. So I start hip width. And I like the part about standing up in between too. I like the part of bringing up, stretch, stretching out a little bit, gives my chance, chance to kind of reset here before I reach down, grab the weight and bump the leg out. What helps out here is both your ability to squat and your ability to travel your weight from side to side. Your center of gravity travels. Here my center of gravity is right over the middle. Bump out the leg. You can do the splits, more power to you. Some of us are, some of us are never gonna get there. Okay, guys, let's bring the, the stool out one more time. And sit up here. And nice, couple butt touches coming up. Again, keep your weight as much as you can in your heels, I'm coming down. Again, so if you don't have a stool, use an imaginary stool. I don't say, oh, it's about right there. You come back up. So, but you're looking to put, again, sitting down, and you're changing your weight here, controlling the center of gravity. That's what we're trying to work on. Again, that's the hips and the core moving and smiling. Did I say that? Hey guys, that was a Wednesday, good class.